All right. So first, before you start cooking, you must have the proper attire. Um, as you will notice, I have a beautiful uh, apron here. I go for the IPO apron. Not everybody will have this. You can't be as cool as me, but make do. Um, and the other thing that I normally have is my music. However, when I attempted to do this video with music, I realized you would not be able to hear me. So no music for Debbie. All right, so today I am going to make a traditional German cake called a Bienenstich, which is translated as bean stig. Um, I did something silly. I decided when I was going to cook for y'all, I was going to try a recipe I've never done before, um, which may not have been the smartest thing for me to do, but I have committed, so I am going to do it, which means that this may be a very, very messy situation. Um, but I hope you'll bear with it and we will have some fun. All right, great to know. The first thing that I'm starting out with is the dry ingredients. So we have flour in here, we have some sugar, and we have some salt. And then my beautiful hot pink KitchenAid, I'm gonna throw that all in there. Again, <laughs> this will be really dirty. My kitchen will be very dirty at the end of this. The next thing that I'm gonna put in is, this is yeast in warm water. Um, we're gonna throw that in because it is a yeast dough that we are making. And I know I'm not Martha Stewart, so roll with me. Um, and then the final items that I'm going to add are the butter and the eggs. So I like to cut out the butter. I feel like it integrates better. Um, I'm going to throw that in there. Ooh. Now it doesn't want to work with me. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. There we are. And we've got two eggs. They're supposed to be at room temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the dough, and we are now going to separate it into two. So I'm going to Fold this over to eliminate any gas. Ooh, that makes me feel like a sigh when that happens. I don't know if I've actually ever had that. And then we're going to cut it in half, or, or rip it in half. Yeah! It was kind of even. All right. We'll roll into a dough, and then we're going to pat it out to about an eight inch, so about, eh, about the diameter there of these pans. I'm not going to roll it out. I'm just going to try to push it out a little bit. So that meets the length there. And this one's going to go into here. Very interested to see how this works. Considering I can't take this into work, and so my husband and I are going to be eating this. So I really, really hope it tastes good, because it's a lot of cake for two people. Right, so now we're going to make the topping that's going to go on the dough once the dough has risen before we cook it. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to melt some butter, which is covered in almonds right now because I was trying to make everything look very neat for you guys, and that just means that I made things messier. All right, so that's going to, so the butter is now melted, so we're going to add the sugar. So that is a third a cup of sugar in there. And then we're going to add two tablespoons. Is it two or is it three? All right, three tablespoons of honey. And now you guys get to watch me for about three minutes while we wait for the honey to come out. Something about cooking with honey and molasses is just totally the best of how it just tastes so yummy when it does get in. Okay. Then we're gonna do two, as our cat comes to help us out, two tablespoons of cream, heavy cream. If I can figure out how to open this. So now we're going to add the almonds into our mixture. And as I said, we are going to make a mess because I'm not very good at keeping things clean while I cook. We're going to stir that around. We're going to let that cool for a little bit. All right. Did you, did you try some of it? Mm -hmm. How's it taste? Mm -hmm. Okay, they're going to cook for about 25 to 28 minutes once I get them into the oven. And I left this on top of the, uh... They know. Okay. <laughs> vent. Vent! That's the word! I left it on top of the vent so it expanded a little bit more than the other one did. Which is why I'm pushing things around a bit. Okay, so I'm going to spread this out. 
You can hear our cat eating on the other side. She's very loud. And then after that, we're gonna stick them into the oven. Once they're out of the oven, we will come back and show you what you look like. Okay, so the cakes are out of the oven. I'm gonna let you see what they look like. There we go. So the first step with the filling is, we're actually gonna be using gelatin. I don't know if you guys have done anything with this before, but um, I am taking gelatin and mixing it with water, and then I'm gonna heat it up um, until it's nice and smooth. And once that happens, I'm going to fold it in some whipped cream and then vanilla pudding in there. So right now I'm in the process of heating up the gelatin. If you guys have ever worked with gelatin, it's a weird thing to work with. All right. Fingers crossed, it looks really liquid. I'm not sure if it's supposed to look that liquidy. You can't see though. I don't want to pour this all over my computer. That wouldn't be very good. So just imagine it looks really liquid. Okay, so it should have cooled off by now. So I'm gonna fold in some whipped cream. Now what I'm going to do is fold this, this, right back into the rest of the whipped cream, which is in here. All right, so the next step is we're going to make vanilla pudding. So I, I am not making it from scratch. I got one of the boxes for pudding, and I am making the pudding with milk, some vanilla extract, and then I'm just plain, so I add a little bit of orange extract because I was like, eh, I like citrus. Why not? Let's hope it works out. So I've got it all going. It is on my... It is on the oven right now, and we're going to heat that up and make our pudding, and then that pudding is going to be mixed in with the whipped cream and gelatin, and that's going to be the filling that's going to go between all the different sections of the cake. By the way, crazy how expensive vanilla is nowadays for all of you bakers out there. Seriously, what are we going to do? All right, so it's messy and you can see that the pudding is starting to fall out. I need to stick this back in the fridge. But basically, once the pudding set, what I did was I put pudding between each level, and there's four different levels. Oh, it doesn't look very pretty, does it? Um, hopefully it tastes yummy. We will try after dinner and let you know. But this is what it is. It is one layer of cake, vanilla pudding, one layer of cake, pudding, cake. And the final thing is a Bienenstich, a bee's sting.